want to use plenty of water so that your hands don't stick to the clay. Ashton Keene is an Ole Miss senior in the art department. She's currently showing me how to make a basic bowl in the ceramics room, something she does often. Keen is one of many students who are part of the art department's ceramics program. The program offers degrees in both the undergraduate and graduate fields. Will McComb, a third year master's student, says the program is successful at preparing students for careers in the field. So this program sets us up, whether you're a graduate student or an undergraduate student, to pursue a life in ceramics. The ceramics program at Ole Miss is led by professors with national and international recognitions. Andrew McIntyre, a graduate technician, says there's always room to grow. It's sort of always important that we continue to grow the program. And so we're always trying to think of, of ways to make our program better and, and, and bigger. After graduating from the ceramics program, there's several career paths that students can pursue. From education to retail, McComb says students have options. Most people that pursue a degree like the one I'm going after, the MFA degree, are looking to get into teaching in some capacity, whether it's at a collegiate level or um, potentially even in uh, arts high schools and things like that, uh, community centers as well. And then some folks will just go out in the field and practice. They'll set up a studio somewhere. Maybe they teach part-time. Pursuing an art career isn't the only way that students are getting involved. The program also has a student-run club, the Mud Daubers, that works to benefit people in the local community while also giving students real-world experience. The club not only raises money, but we do a lot of outreach. Sometimes we, we buy equipment for the, for the Mud Daubers or we... Uh, we use the money in various ways to benefit the students. The ceramics program at Ole Miss isn't your average college degree. However, it definitely reaches further than you might have expected. For Hotty Toddy News, I'm Gene Crunk.